Hi guys, it's the Nivs here, so thank you for joining me and thank you for sticking around, it's really good of you. The light is bad again, but don't worry, I'm working on it. Okay, so a uh, little thing here which I'm going to start doing from now, any big latest Doctor Who news, I'm going to be giving you a video every time it comes out, okay? Okay, not just a build up, every time any decent Doctor Who news comes out, I'll be bringing it here. Okay, so uh, let's crack on with it, shall we? Just uh, a little, do you like my little thing across the bottom, by the way? Just I'll try something different. Um, so let's get on with it. So here we go. So let's crack on with this little bit of news we've got here for today. And it's basically, is Doctor Who Series 11 going to feature civil rights activist Rosa Parks? Parks. 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 I say, hell yeah, bring it on. Um, there's a picture of Rosa Parks there as well, which you'll see. Uh, I am putting it here so you can actually read the article as I'm just scrolling down. Uh, but basically, if they're doing something like this, I just hope it's not going to be... Well, I mean, let's start from the beginning. If they're visiting a historical figure, I'm hoping that they're not going to do what they've done with previous historical figures. Um, I'm hoping Rosa Mendes... Uh, Rosa Mendes... <laughs> Oh, she's a female um, WWE wrestler, or used to be. Why have I got Rosa Mend Rosa Parks. This is why I like to do things unedited if I can. Um, you want to see my blooper reel? It's freaking huge. I'll do one one day. Anyway, uh, Rosa Parks. Um, if I, I hope that when Rosa Parks gets off the bus and she goes into a home that's like there's not a Dalek serving her crumpets or something like that, because that'd be just ridiculous. Like they've done with Charles Dickens, like they've done with William Shakespeare. I just hope that if they're going to use this historical figure or any historical figure in the future, they use them properly. So I hope something like this is a good old fashioned time travel story, which they used to do in Doctor Who. Um, and no aliens are involved. I'm hoping just something goes wrong in time, wherever it may be. And these guys just go and fix it. A good old-fashioned time travel story. You don't have to have a monster in every episode of Doctor Who. That's why I'm hoping that this... Well, when Chris Shibnall said it, the whole thing's going to be rebooted. I hope it does for the better. You know, is that just me? Good storytelling doesn't mean... And Doctor Who, you don't have to have a monster in every single episode. You could have stories about um, uh, family bereavement, for example. Um, illnesses, you know, that's some... You know, you don't have... I don't know. I'm just thinking outside the box here, OK? So, forgive me. I'm doing this off the top of my head. But, basically, to cut a long story short... Do you really need to have a monster in every story? Do you, I don't believe so. So I'm hoping this, if they are using the Rosa Parks uh, character, then they're not just not going to waste the opportunity of potentially telling a freaking great story here. This was a big thing that's happened in the history of our planet. This inc incident, uh, which I'm hoping they are. If you saw the spoiler photos um, a few weeks back, I'm guessing that this is correct. Because they're filming in South Africa and um, they mocked up South Africa, uh, but this part, town in South Africa could be to be um, a town in Alabama. Um, so it's pretty obvious this is going to happen. But I just really hope that this is going to be used properly. Now, don't forget these are just my opinions and not the opinions of anybody else. You can either agree or disagree with me, and that's fine either way. But uh, as we carry on scrolling down, I and mean, we'll see at the bottom here, well, I'm looking at it, I'm not sure what butt you're on, uh, but it's saying that Chris Dublin has taken over showrunner duties for the new region, replacing Stephen Moffat, and apparently has a five-year plan. I'd love to know what this five-year plan is. Um, but I guess we'll never know. <laughs> it's one of them. Anyway, guys, um, I just wanted to see that and share my thoughts with you, because this is what it's all about. We are the fans, and... I just happened to do a video um, about Doctor Who, a channel about Doctor Who. And if I didn't have my say in what I think I'd like to see, then what's the point in having it? What's the point in having that? Leave your comments below. 
and this is one reason why I am determined to get this podcast up and running and which should be with us hopefully in the next few weeks um, so yeah well there you go these are just the thoughts of one strange deluded individual um, like myself you may agree, you may disagree, do you know what, it doesn't really matter, we're all one here, we we'll all have our own thoughts and fantasies on what we want. Um, leave your comments below, please don't forget to subscribe if you're new, and uh, please leave me a big thumbs up and hit the notification bell, because as soon as any more Doctor Who news comes out, relevant Doctor Who news, I have you know, then you'll see it here. Okay, thank you very much guys, I'm back. <laughs>